lot easier for me if I add an ellipse, an object, like so. Because this way, I can format this ellipse through my properties explorer. I can format it. This way, I can change its color before I turn it into a button. Because if I button, it always looks, it, it, the buttons looks the same, right? So I use an ellipse, I use an object, and I format it to the way I want it to look like, and then I convert it into a button. That's how I do it. Now, this is your properties score for blend. And you will notice that you have here your properties grouped properly for you, so you won't get lost. But if you do get lost, there's this search bar in here, search box. There's a search box here that you can use to search your properties. You just type it here. So let's say I want to change the uh, I want to change the fill property of this. I'm going to just type here. So I think tips and fills. And I can fill, it gives me the fill property. It's very nice, it's very easy. So I'll change this one to yellow. It looks yellow to me, I hope it looks yellow to you guys. Alright, so now I have my button. Oh, now I have my lips, which is yellow. And then after that, I'm going to use the expression blend tool. I'm going to use blend to convert this into a button. It's easy, just click tools. Make button. You cannot go more straightforward than that, diba? Straight. Make button. Alam niyo, may magic. There's no magic involved. May mga magic later on in my next talk. So, it's going to ask you for the name of the style that you want your button. This is a yellow button, so I'm going to say here, yellow. If I can type, uh, yellow button. And it's going to be saved to this document only. Now it's a button. How did I know that it's a button? Because when I click on it, it says here that the type is now a button. A button with everything on it. Uh, all of the events that a button has, the click, the click, and the click, <laughs> it's now a button. Okay, I'll just give it a name. BTN Yellow. 